So, just got back from a mud ride, as you can tell. Had her uh, in some deep water. I had it so deep that the sand from the bottom actually got onto the bike. Crazy. Anyways, we're gonna do a comparison here with Mega Mayhems, 28 inch Mega Mayhems and 29.5 inch uh, Assassinators on an Outlander 570 XMR. Dope. Let's get started. I'm not gonna say too too much about this tire but it works absolutely amazing these assassinators are awesome um especially on the 570 with stock clutches works amazing um absolutely unreal absolutely unreal um and that's just with stock clutching um what i've noticed is uh when you're in deep deep mud uh you put it in reverse it has a hard time uh, wanting to spin them unless you press the override button and it seems to do all right these assassinators are 29.5s nine uh, inch width all the way around and uh 14 inch wheels rims whatever you guys want to call them i do want to get an hmf exhaust eventually and uh the clutches i'm uh, wanting to get is a cb tech primary and a black velvet uh, secondary spring. Give it a lot more grab. Give it a lot more power getting in the mud and getting out of it. And uh, help out the reverse because I've definitely noticed problem in reverse. I mean, it is what it is, but uh, I mean, yeah, these things are heavy tires. I think they're like 64 pounds, just the tire. So, I mean, yeah. Where my Mega Man hands were 31, 31 inches or 31 pounds of tire. So, um, big difference there. If you guys have any comments about, or any questions about these tires on the bike, or how the bike handles the tires, and anything to do with the tires of the bike, just comment down below. I'm willing to answer your questions, so uh, make sure you guys stay tuned for, for the next video.